Okay, so here is the next question, question number 10 on the TSI official math practice test. And as you may not know, but I'm going over each question individually. I'm making one video at a time. So we are together on question number 10. So question number 10 says, in the xy plane, the slope of the line y equals mx minus 4 is less than the slope of the line y is equal to x minus 4. Which of the following must be true about m? So it's really simple. All you have to do is write this first equation. y is equal to mx minus 4. Then write the words less than. So I'm going to write less than because it says it's less than. And then I write the second equation, y is equal to x minus 4. Okay, so on your piece of paper, write the first equation, write the words less than, they may have said greater than, they may have said equal to, whatever words they say to compare, put the comparison words in the middle. And then the second equation is y is equal to x minus 4. So now all we have to do is figure out what is the slope of this line and what is the slope of this line. Well. In any equation that's written y equals mx plus b, the slope is whatever number or letter comes before the x. So in this first equation, the number or letter that comes before the x is m. So the slope in this case is just m. Okay? Then for this y equals x minus 4, again, the slope for this one would be whatever number or letter is written before the x. In this case, there'd be an invisible 1 before the x. So the slope would be equal to 1. So now we just have to make a less than sign, and a less than sign goes that way. So our answer is m is less than 1. So our answer is going to be c. So I'm going to just talk about the less than sign versus the greater than sign. Okay, so less than goes that way, greater than goes that way. The way that I remember it is I like to put a few teeth in there and I think of an alligator. So if you have two numbers, say you had two and five, the alligator is not gonna wanna eat the number that is less than the other number. So you read it from left to right. You start with this number, two, and if this sign, if the alligator is facing away, the alligator mouth is facing away, you would read two is less than five. Okay, but if the alligator mouth is facing towards you, that means you're greater than. So if I had eight and five, again, you start on the left side and you would read it eight. And then because the alligator mouth is facing towards you, eight, is greater than five. That's how you would read that. So how would I say if I had eight and 10, what sign would I use? Well, the alligator mouth would be facing open towards the 10 because 10 is a bigger number. And if I read this, I would start with the eight and I would say eight because this mouth is facing away from the eight, Eight is less than, and then I would say 10. So let's go back to the problem because I know that that's something that we always have to practice, the less than or greater than sign. But how would we go about doing another problem that's similar to this? So I wanted to show you guys very briefly. And then I also have a practice test that I'm going to link below if you want more practice problems. If they said the slope of line y is equal to mx plus 6 is greater than, so we're going to write greater than, the slope of y is equal to negative 3x plus 10. I would just write the slope of the first line, which is whatever number or letter is in front of the x. In this case, it's the m is greater than, I'll make the greater than symbol. Remember the greater than symbol is going to be eating the first number or letter. So because the mouth is facing the M, this would be greater than sign. M is greater than, and then we would write the slope for this line. Again, the slope is whatever number or letter comes before the X. So it'd be negative three. 
So the answer would be m is greater than negative 3. All right. If you guys would like more practice questions, I'm going to leave my practice test below. Um, it has a lot of practice questions that are similar to these ones um, and a bunch of extra ones. But also, I am in the process of making my own course. So if you check the description box and you see that I have a link to my course, you can go ahead and check it out. If you check the description box and I have not posted my course yet, that's because it's just not ready just quite yet. But come back and check this um, question in the future because it may be in the description box at some point. When I am done making my um, course, I will link it below. So please just double check to see if it's there and I will see you in the next one. Happy studying, guys.